Ok. Ok, thank you. Now let's uh, start to answer. Uh, I start by Ahmed Zaki. Read the question, please. Hurry up, Ahmed. Read. Which of these sentences of verb in the, in the passive voice? Yeah. Or do I read the first question? Identify the choice that best answers the question. Really? You didn't find any answer? Uh, our train rushed past the small villages and entered the tunnel. Snacks and sandwiches were sold. Huh? Where the, this is the answer. Sna are you snacks reading? and sandwiches were sold to voyagers. I'm reading. Okay, fine. They're gone. Ahmed, Ahmed, are you going to answer or are you going to reading for, read first the, the choices and then give me the answer? Ahmed Zaki, are you okay? Hello? Yes, Ahmed, I can hear you. Are you going to read the answers? Can or... you hear me? Yes, I can hear you well. Ahmed, oh. I can hear you well. طيب تل أحمد فيكسس بروبلم كان أحمد هاني أنزر Every few minutes the conductor strolled down the passage uh, That's it the passive one? Yes Do you remember what is the, the passive and active voice Ahmed? In the, in the an active yes. sentence I, the door is the subject of the sentence the door or the subject of the sentence, the door of the action. But in the passive voice, the subject is the recipient, the one who is receiving the action. I and know. I, I change the verb. No, I'm, I'm talking to Ahmed Hani. Uh, and the, the, we change the verb from its active form to its passive form, according to its tense. You remember that? Ahmed, Ahmed, Ahmed ate the sandwich. This is active. The passive one, the sandwich was eaten by Ahmed. This is, this is passive. Huh? Okay. So, Ahmed Zaki, if you can answer, have you have fixed your problem? Answer. Snack and soldiers in the dining car. Oh, that's it. Snacks and sandwiches were sold to the voyagers in the di dining dining car. If anyone had a, a question about this sentence, tell me. In this sentence, snacks and sandwiches here, yes, they are the subject of the sentence, but they are not the door. They are the recipient. Recipient of what action? Of selling were sold to the voyagers. Someone sold the san snack and sandwich to the voyagers. Remember that the, um, the subject is not mentioned here. I mean the door is not mentioned here. Got it? We don't have here. We don't have the door of the action. We don't have the door of the action. But we have here the recipient and the, or the subject because it's in a passive voice sentence. Tell me it's okay. Should I move to the next sentence or should I explain it? It's okay. Okay, great. Uh, Ahmed Hani, because I uh, I took your questions, so you answer the next one. Read the question. Which of the sentence contains a verb in the active voice? Yes. I meant my compartment. Compartment. Uh, quite, compartment quietly reads the newspaper. The, remain, the remains of my lunch had been consumed hours ago across the Aisley. A game was being played across, by across the aisle. The aisle. Do you know the aisle here? The, the, this area that you find it between the, the the chairs in the train or bus or uh, the the tracks in the in the supermarket. We call this an an aisle. Yeah. Hmm. Instructions about our luggage were given out over the speaker. Yes. Hmm. We need now an active uh, uh, voice or an active sentence uh, where the subject is the doer. 
and the object is the recipient, the one who is receiving the action. Hmm. A man in my uh, compartment quietly read the newspaper. A man in my compartment quietly read the newspaper. That's right. Excellent. Good job. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. Compartment, compartment. It's uh, like the uh, in the in, in a train. You find that uh, there's a separated areas where people can sit. We call this co com compartment. Great. Let's go to uh, Ahmed Shaib. Good morning. Uh, Nada. Hi. Hello. Okay, um, should I read the question? Yeah. I will read this. What is the verb phrase in the following sentence? The travelers were constantly inspired by, uh, by the vivid scenery along the tracks. Um, were inspired. That's the verb phrase. Yes, excellent. This is the verb phrase. Uh, don't panic from the word verb phrase. It means that he needs you to, because here my verb, the verb has more than, than one word. Uh, so we call the verb phrase and they start with the, uh, a, a verb, of course. And uh, this verb in its passive form, in its passive form, because the travelers here, Nada, are they the doer or the recipient? Hello? Yes, uh, the travelers, they're the doers. Really? Oh, yes, we're consistently in. Yeah, they are the recipients. So the this recipient. is passive. Yes, they are the subject, but they are the recipient of the action of inspiring. So uh, the, the verb in its passive form, uh, uh, it's where inspired. It is interrupted by the um, uh, consistently uh, an adverb, just to add more uh, uh, more explanation for their case. Um, okay, let's go ask who. Um, Ahmed Shraib, can you answer? Ahmed Shraib, can you answer? Ahmed Shraib, not here. Taib, uh, seems that you have a problem, I mean, I know. Uh, Ziyad? <coughs> hi, miss. Hi, hi. Okay, welcome. Who's here, Ziyad? Who's Ziyad? Who's Ziyad? I haven't heard, uh, I don't have a name called Ziyad. Who's Ziyad? Ziyad. Hmm? Bilal. Mm. Okay, thank you, Omar. Yes, yes. yes. You help me. The next bell bell is the subscription. The subscription is the subscription. The subscription Okay, fine. Tabi, let's go on, Ahmed. Okay. You have, if you have your sheet, so you, you have to go back to the sentence that was mentioned in part A. No, I don't have it. Oh, time. Okay. Fine. Mm. I show you the sentence. Have you read the question? Yes. Okay, so this is the sentence. <clears throat> Where? <laughs> okay, coming. I'm looking for the arrow to go up. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here it is. Can you read it? Yes. Mm -hmm. The travelers were consistently inspired by the vivid scenery along the tracks. Keep it in your mind to show you the choices. Huh? Should I move to the choices? Yes. Okay, great. Go on. A. Along the tracks, the scenery was consistent. B, B, B. A or B? I'm confused. B. 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 Okay, that's right. B. Miss, if I didn't reply, hmm? like you mean my family or, or or something like that, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, you... If I didn't reply when you say my name, ah. it means my family, okay? Hmm. And I can speak. Oh, you can't. Why? What? You are you doing something wrong? We are having a session. No, no, no. <laughs> Dive, okay, never mind. Fine. Uh, okay, uh, the vivid scenery. If you remember the vivid scenery in the passive in the in the previous sentence, it was the um, uh, uh, it was the, the the object of the sentence, but the door. Now in the active voice here, I turn. I start by we switch. 
we bring the object, make it the subject, and we put the subject as an object. Now I put the, the, the verb scenery as a subject, and now it's the, the real door of the action of what? Of inspiring the travelers. Fine? Another thing in the, in the active sentence, it was uh, where inspired. This is the passive form, the passive form of the verb inspired in the past. So I turn it into active, active form, it's turned to inspired. We keep the tense. The tense is in the past, so we keep the tense as it is. Hmm. Any question? Any question? Right, let's go to the next one. Uh, Gamal, I know that you want to answer. I want to. I, I just have a problem of just going to the chat room. That's it. I'm sorry. I, I really need you to participate and answer with us. But I have problem to go to the chat to read the answers. Um, right, let's go to the underline, the verb in each sentence this is the number one number two write a if the verb in in the active voice or p, p if the verb in the passive voice uh omar Meher, can you answer number one omar Meher. Okay. um ahmed zaki Hello. Yeah. Uh, underline the verb in each sentence. Yes. Write A if the verb is active or P if the verb is in passive voice. Mm. The, Greek, the Greek festival was enjoyed by all the visitors. Mm. Where the verb first underline? Was enjoyed. Yes, this is a verb phrase. Was enjoyed. And this sentence in active or passive? Passive. In, yeah, that's right. It's in passive. Thank you. Uh, Mahmoud Muhib. Well, guys, the one who is just taking something, can you please stop doing this because you are making noise? Mahmoud Muhab, are you there? Type uh, Nada. Hello. Yes, go on. Yeah. Uh, number two, uh, hints of oregano, garlic, and cinnamon were de were detected in the air. Yeah. It's passive. Yeah. Where the verb, the verb phrase, or the verb? Were detected. Yeah, that's right. Were detected. And it's passive. Thank you. Um, Ahmed Haini. Open hands performed traditional dances from Greece. Hmm. Perform it. Performed. Active. Yes, that's right. Active or passive? Active. Great. Thank you. Okay. D. Uh, he needs you to revise uh, each sentence by changing the passive voice to the active voice or the active voice to the passive voice. So you need to detect whether the sentence active or passive and then change each one of them to the other, uh, other side. Uh, uh, should I go to UK? All of you have a problem, I don't know. What's, uh, Ahmed Shreik, can you answer the first one? Okay, not Ahmed Shraib. Type Ahmed Zaki. Um, Martin is given the medicine bag by Grandpa. Active or passive? Uh, uh, active. <laughs> active. Are you sure? You hurt me. Uh, uh. Active or passive? Oh, passive, because he's the one who really? Uh, grandpa really? gave him not, the bag. This, this, this is not the trap that you should fill in, really. So it's a passive. Now turn it into active. Um, grandpa gave the medicine to Martin. Yeah, that's right. Grandpa, uh, you said what? Grandpa? Give the medicine bag. Give yeah. the medicine back. Gave, to gave, gave in the past. 
Yes. Why given the past? He said is given, right? So can I have to put it. Uh, can you present? see the sentence is given? Yes, I know. Okay, in the present. Why you said gave? Why put the the verb uh, in the past? Hmm? Grandpa. Uh, in the present, huh? Active in the present. Ahmed gives. Gives. Yeah, in the present. Huh? Grandpa gives the medicine back to Mars. No, I need you to. Are you confident of the this answer or not? Yes. Do you know why did I put gives not gave as you said? Because it's supposed to be in present, not yeah, in past. Yeah, that's right. That's it. Because I have verb to be here in. It, it, the the the, ver the verb phrase here in the passive sen this passive sentence is in the present is in the present verb to be in this in the present so keep the tense as it is but just change the the form of the verb okay and number two um uh, Ahmed Haini I'm here yes I can no answer excuse me as it is a blue uh... Oh, sorry. Okay. Hmm. Shirley uh, brings her friends to home to meet Grandpa after he uh, comes to stay with them. Active. A uh, great active. That's right. Who is the door of the action here? The subject and the door. Shirley brings her friends. Yes, not Shirley only. Shirley is the, is the subject of the sentence, and she is the the the, the, the door of the action, the action of, which is bringing. Fine. And who's the, the the object or the recipient? Who's receiving friends, the action? Uh, friends. Her friend. That's right. The recipient. Now to change into the the passive voice, we need to change. We start by the uh, her friends. The object will bring it the subject, and may and the Shirley, who's the subject, bring it as the object and change the form of the verb huh? her friends who was was no. look at the tense of the sentence Her friends is verb to be followed by the past the past participle of the verb. Bring, brought, brought. Hmm. You said her friends. Great. Now we said in the in the passive we need verb to be followed by the past participle. My verb to be should be in the present because the verb is in the present. Her friends brought by Shirley. Right. Home to me. Wait, 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 but what well, the question? You said you said her friends is brought. Why is friends is no brought only? Okay, is brought only? Yes. If you said her friends brought, this is active. This means that they are the one who brought uh, brought Shirley. They are the recipient. So we use verb to be followed. We must use the verb to be followed by the past participle. Hmm? We will start by we will start by Shirley's friend because we I can start uh, 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 with the her friends because I don't know who's who's her friend. So it's Shirley's. Chilly's friends, friends, okay? The verb to be in the present should be are because they are plural. Followed by the past participle of the verb bring, so are brought. Chilly's friend are brought. Who brought the chilly's friend? 
Chul. Yes. So Chul's friend are brought to where? Uh, home. To her home. To do what? Meet grandma. To meet grandma. After grand he comes to stay with them. Yeah, that's right. Let's uh, yeah, this is the rest of the sentence. Whatever. What did I do here, uh, Ahmed? I first you said this is an active great. If this is an accent active sentence, so surely here the subject, her friends are the object. To turn it or transfer it into the passive, we need to exchange. Start by the object and as make it a subject and put the subject as an object. Yes, I know her friends now. They are the subject, but not the doer. They are the recipient of the action. And to change the verb form from passive from active to passive brings here in active. In the passive form, it should be verb to be in the present, followed by the past participle of the verb bring. So in the present, I have am, is, are. What will suit her friends? Are. And this is the past participle of the verb brings. Brings, it had three forms. Bring, brought, brought. So are, brought. And then complete the, the rest of the sentence. To her, to her home to meet grandpa. Hmm. Clear? Understood? Yeah. Understood for you? Right, okay. Uh, in, is anyone can answer um, uh, other than Ahmed Haini, Ahmed Zaki, Nada, Mahmoud, Muhab, Mahmoud, Muhab, Bilal, Omar, Maher? Anyone can answer? I know that Gamal needs to answer, but I can't help really. I'm sorry. Bye, Nada. Hmm? Hello. Who will answer? <laughs> Who? Gamal. Gamal, okay, welcome. Thank you that you have solved your problem. Okay, go to, go on to number three. And Grandpa took the bus to get to Martin's family. Mm -hmm. Active or passive? It's, uh... Grandpa took the bus. Active, I guess. I hate this word, I guess, or I think. I, I hate it. You should I be think. confident. You should be confident of your answer. Okay, it's active. Active or passive? Active. Even your, no, your tone is not confident. Active. Yes, it's an active sentence, that's right. Because grandpa is the door of the action and the subject of the sentence. Yes. Now, transfer it to the passive form. And keep the tense. Okay. Um, the bus took Grandpa to Martin's family? I will consider that you didn't answer. Uh, you, you, now you change it from active to another active. The bus took, the, uh. took Grandpa. Active and active. We'll start by the um, bus, that's right. Now turn the verb from its active form to passive form. Take, if it's, uh, if took, uh, the bus. It should verb be take. Verb be followed by the past participle. Verb to be followed by the past participle. Uh, I'm better. Verb, right. Should the verb be should be in the present or the past? The, uh, the present. I can't uh, change the tense. I I didn't I didn't ask you to change. Yes, don't change the tense. Don't change the tense. Yes. That's right. But the tense here it took it in the past. Yes. Right. Okay. So the bus. What? What the? So we need the verb to be in the past. Was or where? I I have an answer, but I'm not sure if it. Okay, that's say my it, Gamal. Well, how, how can you learn then? Say it. What the what the problem? Huh. I will not write the wrong answer, of course. <laughs> Go on. Okay. I sleep early, huh? I sleep bus... early. early. No, I sleep late at night. <laughs> the, I sleep was... early. Come on, gone. Bus was. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Was taken. Yes. 
by grandpa to get to Morton's That's family. That's it. That's it. What what was the problem in this sentence? As long as if, if unless you don't understand the the lesson itself. No, oh, I understood it, but like <laughs> I got confused. The bus was taken by whom? By grandpa. By grandpa. Yes. To get to Martin's family. Yes, to get to Martin's family. So I I I started by the 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 object, make it the subject, like here the bus, and then change the verb from active to passive voice uh, form. Was taken. Why was? Because took in the past. So the verb verb to be should be in the past. Was, uh, and the past participle of take is taken. Take took taken. By whom? By grandpa. And then complete the rest of the sentence. Thank you, Gamen. Keep in touch. Okay. Um, in this exercise, he needs you to circle or highlight the form of the verb in uh, parentheses, which are these, and um, uh, that agree with the subject. If the sentence contains compound subject, underline it. Only compound subject. Do you remember what is the compound subject? Anyone can answer. Do you remember what is the compound subject? Uh, when the <laughs> sentence has more than one subject. Yes, that's right. If the sentence has more than one subject and the, uh, those subjects are sharing the same action or the same verb, we call this uh, a compound subject. Uh, now, Nada? Hi. Yes, go on. Yes. Um, the apple slice or the grapes is or are um, fine for the baby. We're mm. going to choose are because uh, the verb is closest to grapes, which is plural. Excellent, excellent. Let me first um, explain why did uh, Nada choose are. I, I have here, do I have a compound subject here? Yes. yes. What are they? Apple slice or grapes. That's right. Now I have two two subjects: apple, slice, grapes, and these these are these are compound subject. We remember we have three ways to connect to this compound subject: and, or, nor. Now they are co connected with or. If they are connected with ors, the verb agrees with the closest subject. The verb agrees with the closest subject, which is grapes, and grapes here uh, is plural. Remember, yes, uh, she's not a choosing R because the, we have two subjects here. No, she's choosing R because grapes is the closest one and the grapes here is plural. And they are connected with or. Or or nor follow this the same rule. But if we have and, no, and it means that all, all the time the verb will be in plural case. The, the people who were not attending the session, did you understand me? I consider it yes. Ahmed Shaif, can you answer? Uh, Ahmed uh, Haney, can you answer? Yes. Hmm. Teen wheels makes or make this day the winter long. Hmm. Make. Uh, okay, let's first. Yes, make. Fine. Why make? Uh, because uh, 13 wheels is plural and make is plural. Excellent. Uh, do we have a compound subject here? No, no, that's right. Great. Uh, by the way, the uh, it will. I think the Zoom will kick out out of the session right now. <laughs> I think we have uh, seven minutes, so uh, just come back, join. I will just reopen it again. Uh, let's go to um, Bilal. Can you answer? Yes, yes. Who's Bilal? Uh, Bilal? Yes. Yes. Okay. Number three. Bilal, number three. Yes. Uh, Read number three. Yes. Seen uh, and. Uh, 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 Mr. Omar Meher, uh, Mr. Omar Meher, close your mic, please. Omar Meher, close your mic. Oh my God. Yes, Bilal, go on. Merged uh, students study oh, in the library. What, what is this? I'm muting him. Okay, Sean and Margaret studies or study in the library. Where is the where's the verb that agree with the subject? Student. 
studies or study? Uh, studies. The, the first or the second? I can't hear you well. Second. 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 The second. Excellent. That's right. Yes. Okay. Can someone tell him to shut his mic, please? Who? Bilal. Uh, sorry, Omar Meher. Okay, Bilal, a question. Do we have your what? compound subject? Miss, can I answer? Okay, Ahmed, you will answer the next question. Bilal, okay. do we have a compound subject here? Yes. What is it? In the library. No. Who's making the action? Uh, Bilal. Who's see, studying? Uh, Who's studying? Huh? Says, Sean? Sean and... Huh? Uh, Okay, but then you come back. Yes. And what? This one. One second, one second. Okay, come on. Are you still there? Yes, fine. yes. Okay, fine. So, Sean, a market here. This is the compound subject because I am having two subjects and both of them are sharing the same action, which is studying. That they are connected with and. We said if the two subjects are connected with and, so the, all the time the, the the verb will be in its plural form. Thank you, Blen. Uh, Ahmed Shraib. Welcome. Ahmed Shraib. Uh, this will be the last question. Neither rain nor be, dogs. Wait, nor wait. dogs. Ahmed, wait. Uh, this will be the last question. After Ahmed, I will we will uh, end the meeting and start a new one. Yes, Ahmed, go on. Okay. Neither rain nor dogs delay the paper. Boy. Delay. Uh, uh, the second one. Yes. Why? Because the dogs is the closest to the verb. Yes, excellent. We, I had this means that I am having a compound subject here. Yes, Which connected are? by no. Yes, excellent, because I have rain and nor dogs. Uh, we have two subjects and they are connected with nor, so the verb will follow the closest will follow the closest subject, which is dogs. Dogs is plural, so delay will be plural too. Fine, time. Guys, can you I will end the session so and start a new one. Fine? Okay, to all of you, can you hear me? I will end the session and start a new one. Okay. Okay, yeah. See you. Miss May I ask uh, Hmm. May I ask a question? Ask, ask. Um, will you uh, put um, another video completing all of uh, the... I'm recording right now. I'm recording the session and I will post it on the so, MS. So, okay. Fine. Thanks. Okay, you are welcome. Yalla, see you after a minute. Bye-bye. See you. And open the sheet. Here we go. Can you see the sheet right now? Okay. Um, Gamel? Gamel? Can you answer? Omar Muhammad. Omar Muhammad. Who's Omar Muhammad? Omar? No, Omar type. Uh, Nada? Her? Yes, okay, go on. Should I answer? Oh, yes. Of course. Yeah, go on. Four pigs has, ex has escaped or have escaped the barn. It's have escaped. Yeah, that's right. Have. Why have escaped? Because pigs is uh, plural. Yes. Do I have a compound subject here? No. No, I have only one subject. Thank you. Uh, Ahmed Haini? Saturday or Sunday is or are a good day for a picnic. Is. It, that's right. Why is? Uh, because I have a compound uh, subject and I have or. Yes, I have a compound subject and they are connected with the... Or. Yes, they are connected with or, so uh, I have to underline them. And here the, the, the verb will follow. The closest subject. The closest subject here is singular, so it should be is. Don't be 
confused saturday or sunday you may say two days miss should be or no they are connected with the or and it's meaning even you are or and nor both of them are giving me alternative choices this one or this one not both of them and means both of them so that's why the verb all the time is plural but if you are saying this one or this one this means that one item we are separating the the the, the subject into two separated items so that's why the verb followed the closest one uh, Ahmed Zaki. The students and teacher likes or like world games. Um, like world games. Which one? Like the second one. Uh, this right, like. Do I have a compound subject? Uh, Yes, the stu students and teacher. That's right, student and teachers. And because they are connected with and, so the verb should be in the plural form uh, all the time. Uh, uh, okay, again, uh, Gamal, can you answer? Gamal, can you answer? Um, okay. Eight. Hmm. Neither the lemons or nor the melons. Not melons, melon. Melon. Hmm. Okay, neither the lemons nor the me uh, melon. Uh, <laughs> that's some of it. Is if don't, I'm correct? Don't say, don't tell me if I think. Hmm. It's just like neither the lemons nor the melon. Hmm? Where the, the where the subject here, um, Gamal? Uh, then the subject uh, neither or <gasps> yeah neither. Uh, Not uh, lemon and the melon. I feel are a, a, yes, a beginning of a heart attack. Really. Okay. <laughs> where the subject of this sentence? The, the, the lemons and melons. Only le oh, great. So or, it's uh, lemons and uh, or melons. And. Yes, no or melons. Okay, fine. So I have here two subjects, right? Two subjects, yes. and they are sharing yes. the same action. So this means this is a compound subject. They are connected with and or or nor. And or or nor. Nor. Great. They are direct connected with nor. When the two subjects connected with nor so the verb will agree with which one was both um, of them the first one no, or the not, closest one no, not both of them not, not both of them the, the first one or the closest one um the problem is that no problem is... the verb is very lazy he the verb doesn't want to move a step so he will follow the closest one of course where should he go to the first one this is a long distance it's okay, but so, the problem is that is and are they they can move, they can uh, be in the sentence. Lee, That's why? my thing. Why? Why? This is the why well, you use it to, to describe it. The, the, the like, verb right look, the, an adjective. If someone, if maybe someone told you to um, ripe the lemons and the melon, and you didn't do it, and then they come to you, they'll say neither the lemons nor the melon is ripe. Oh, that's right. None that's of them are right. Well, is, this is, is, that's right. The correct, the answer is, is because melon, the closest one is singular. Yes. Right? What's why, why you said, you said is, shouldn't be here. No, I said R shouldn't be here. Not well, I, well, I'm giving you a choice. I'm not giving you the answers. Yeah, Mr. Gamal. You're, yeah, you're so weird. Really, really. You know, this traveling out of Cairo costs something. Are you okay? Uh, who's Omar? Can you answer? Right, let's start again. Ahmed Haney? Friend or Ellen works or Wait, 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 wait. We have a new question. Read it. Circle or highlight the form of the verb in the presses. Presses. Parenthesis. Oh, the, the, the two brackets. That agrees with the subject if the sentence contains a compound subject underlined. The same thing, okay. 
Fran or Ellen. It's a compound subject. Okay. Hmm. And we will choose the works. We choose work. Why works? Because uh, if uh, there is or in the compound subject, we will choose the nearest one. That's right. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Ahmed Zaki? Neither the dog nor the children is or are in the basement. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a compound uh, subject. Meshe, okay, that's we know. Is, uh, we all know dog this. Dog nor the children. What about by this there? The challenge. Hmm. Uh, yeah, great. Why are isn't the children singular? No, children is plural. Ah, yeah, that's right. The children is plural, so the verb will follow the closest one because they are connected with nor. Thank you, thank you. Who is Mac Bro? Who is Mac Bro? MacBook Bro. Someone on a laptop. Who? Someone on a laptop. But really? I don't, know I don't know that. I thought that he was someone on me. TV. Who's me? Ibrahim. Ibrahim, why didn't you say that you have entered Ibrahim? At least to re record your name. Tell Tab Ibrahim, you, you have been attending from the first session and you didn't answer any question. You are so mean, Ibrahim. Answer number oh. three. Oh. I will focus with you till the end of the session. Answer number three. Yalla, Ibrahim. Run. Ibrahim, can you hear me? Ibrahim, can you hear me? Hi. Yes, yes. Okay, yalla, go on number three, read it. Uh, Mr. Smith and Ms. Mrs. Jones swim or swim in, in the public pool. Hmm. pool. Uh, Actually, we find Mr. Smith and Mrs. Jones. Hmm. We'll underline. Yes, because we have compound subjects here. Okay, and yeah. the verb. And, uh, <laughs> swim. The fact uh, is this first or the second. Second. Yes, that's right. Second. Why the second? Because uh, it's uh, Smith and Jones. Yes, I have a compound subject and they are connected with and. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Bilal is working from home, it seems, or something, I don't know. Thank you. Uh, Ibrahim, keep in touch. Uh, let's go to Nada. Okay. Um, I'm gonna read number four. The others misunderstands or misunderstand the instructions. It's uh, misunderstand. Yes, that's right. Misunderstand because the others is plural subject. I don't have a compound. It's one subject and it's plural others. Um. Okay. Uh. Bilal, can you answer? Me, me, I want to answer. Okay, Omar, me, Omar, me. Omar, yes. Omar, finish your job out of our sessions. Okay, you, you make all you make all your calls while we are recording the session and we heard all this, the, 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 the phone call. We heard it all. Tabiel, okay, Omar, go to number five. Uh, movies, songs, uh, first one. The, ah, yes, the sounds. Why sounds? Although we have two subjects. Why did you choose sounds? Plural. Uh, what is plural? Sound is singular. Why did you choose sound? Where is the, the subject of this verb, of this sentence? Where is the subject? Checkers or a movie? These are two subjects, and they are connected with... Second verb. No, yeah, Amr, the first one... The first the... verb... Uh, 
Yeah, the first one. I'm, I'm explaining why this is the choice. Because the subject here, I have two subjects. This means I have a compound subject and they're connected with or. And when the, the two subjects are connected with or, the verb will follow the closest one. Movie, singular. So that's why I choose sound singular verb. Hmm? Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's go to Gamal again. Gamal? Um, yes. Yes, go on. On the line, right? Right, the the form of verb in uh, parent. Parenthes. Par the parentheses are the brackets, Yanni. Parentheses that agrees with the subject. Yeah. An owl or a woodpecker in the oak tree. Hmm. Owl or a woodpecker. Nests. Yes, that's the, right. The, the, hmm. Explain. Because he's saying that an an owl or a woodpecker mm -hmm. in the oak in, in that oak tree. Mm -hmm. So he actually mentioned two things, not mm -hmm. one thing. That's right. So if I put nest, it's going to mean that the owl and the woodpecker share, share the same nest. Yeah, that's right. So it can't go. This is really really nest. an excellent expla explanation. That's right. Uh, uh, I have two, two, two subjects and they are connected with or. This means that uh, I have two alternative things, not two things together, uh, the, not both of them, one of them. And so, and the verb follows the closest one. The closest one is singular. That's why it is nest. Uh, Ahmed Haini? Needs a pen, nor a pencil, space, a miss like that. Makes. Makes. Okay. Because they are connected with nor. Um, <clears throat> Ahmed Zaki? Yes. Answer. Uh, you and he wonderfully dance or dances? Dance wonderfully. You and he dance, that's right, because they are connected with and. This means that and. both of them, both of them, that's right, excellent. Uh, Ibrahim? Ibrahim? Ibrahim, ready? Me, me, me. Yeah, me. Ibrahim, go on. The first one. Number four. Okay. Either a rat or some mice under the floorboard. Under the floorboards. Hmm. Uh, hmm? Either a rat or some mice. Hmm. Live or lives? Lives. Lives? Lives? The, this one? Lives one. The first one. The first one, Why did you choose that? Because a mice, not uh, one, one mice. Yes, excellent. Plural. Plural, that's right. Uh, uh, the, the two subjects are connected with or, so the verb will follow the closest one. Mice is plural, so the verb should be in plural. Thank you, Ibrahim. You did a great job. Three minutes left for us. Three minutes left for us. Let's go to the... Um, uh, Nada? Hi. Hello. Um. Aunt Natasha or Aunt Aunt Henry are coming Rewrite Rewrite the sentences, correcting okay. the mistakes in subject-verb agreement. Hmm. Okay, Aunt Natasha or Uncle Henry are coming to dinner. Um, instead of are coming, we should say is coming. That's right, excellent. So my, the, I, instead, of, I you should write, of course, the, the, the sentence fully. 
uh, the mm -hmm. correct sentence fully on the exam, but not to, to save our time and run. So I will write here, the correct is, is. where did I go? <clears throat> okay, I'm coming back, don't worry. Yes, that's it. Stop it. I'm doing something wrong, I know. When, one second, yes, it should be here. Yes, this should be as only. Fine, and instead of R is, because they are two, Two subject, compound subject connected with or, so the verb will follow the closest one. Omar uh, Meher? Hi. Okay, fine. Yalla, go on. Uh, the quote uh, goes in the close. Uh, uh, yes. uh, is the quote? The quote goes in the closest. The closet. Hey, what, the, what? What is the mistake here? S. What is S? What is the the mistake? He said there's a mistake in in the subject verb agreement. This means that the subject and the verb do not, does, do not agree together. The subject and the verb do not agree together. So you have to connect correct the the mistake. S in the quotes. No. You you uh, need to make code as singular, you mean? Uh, okay, fine, Mesh. Accept it. Thank you. This is an answer. So if they do that, you will write the codes, right? Uh, okay, great. This is an answer type. Do you have another answer? Do you have another answer? Um, uh, man, do you have another answer? Gamal, do we have another answer? Type uh, Ahmed Haini, do you have another answer? We will change uh, from goes to go. That's right. Or you can change this one. Goes to write it go only. That's great. Okay. Uh, Ahmed Zaki? Yes. Mm hmm neither the boy nor the girls admits to the problem uh, the mistake here is admit admit okay it should be admit admit okay that's right or we can say the girl like we will follow the way like um, uh, Omar Hanika is doing we can change the girls into uh, singular to make it nor the girl I should go, but let me finish how many questions. Okay, left two. Uh, we can answer this question, then we we will end the session. Uh, Nada? A toy or some tennis ball, a ball is stored in the can. So instead of is, is stored, it's going to be R stored. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. As we change it into R. Ibrahim, get ready for the last sentence. Ibrahim, get ready for the last sentence. Ibrahim. Yes, yes. Yes, number five. Uh, you and he is welcome to drop by any time. Hmm. I want to answer. Inshallah, next Thursday, because this is the last sentence, Amr. I have another session. <coughs> I have another session. Yala Ibrahim, you and he is welcome to drop by anytime. Where is the mistake? Uh, I think it's a hmm? Where the subject, uh, Ibrahim? The subject. So you and he. You and he. Compound subject and they are connected with and. So what about the verb? Uh, uh, drop. No, come on. Of course not the drop. Is. Is that bar? Merci, Mr. Omar. Thank you very much. You saved us.
Huh? Ibrahim, is that correct? Ibrahim. Yes. Hmm? What? Yes, is Omar said is should be R. Is that correct? Oh, oh yeah. Yes, oh. that's it. Yes. That's it. You and he are welcome to drop by in time. By the way, this is a, this is a passive voice, a passive sentence. Are welcome. It's a passive one. Uh, okay, thank you for this uh, session. I have enjoyed my time with you and they're still wanting to spend more time, but I have another session, so I have to run. Uh, our last session, inshallah, will be next Thursday. Uh, check your LMS. I will send you the model answer of the, uh, the the revision sheet today, inshallah. But by the end of the day, because I'm still, I have a, a, some work to finish first. Okay? Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye. Bye, Nada. Bye, Ahmed. Aini. Bye, Ahmed Zaki. Bye, Omar. Bye. Bye, Ibrahim. Bye, Bilal. Bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. See you.